Wow, everybody, look where we are. It is an incredible spring day to be out here on the lake. If you can't tell already, I'm taking the kayaks out today. This is a non-motorized lake, so these old town kayaks are perfect for a situation like this. Let's get these things launched and let's head to the other side of the lake. secret what's in the cooler today. I have an absolutely amazing gourmet lunch planned for the other side of this lake. I'm gonna cook it right on the kayak after we catch a few fish today. Now this lake infamously has some absolute monster fish and they're all wild trout. You can keep them in this lake, but I probably won't. They have to be over 18 inches, so that's a pretty big trout. But it just goes to tell you how big these things are. So this time of year, all the fish migrate to the inlets of the lakes and they start to do a little spawning and they go up into these creeks. Unfortunately, we can't fish the inlets or the outlet creeks of this lake. So we're gonna go right into the front of them, see what we can do for finding some fish. I really wanna get them on the fly most of all, but I'm gonna try to get them on all the other methods too. So let's get these things launched, let's get going. I knew I was forgetting something. Jordan's forgotten item of the week, the kayak paddles. We have a full charge on these Minn Kotas, but I can't, you can't always trust that these Minn Kotas or that the battery itself is gonna last all fricking day. So I think I'm gonna pick out an or a paddle shaped piece of wood and keep it on the boat all day just in case. Let's go find one. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna strap this thing in with my insurance policy. That was really stupid of me. It's okay, we're gonna have to improvise. I wanted to paddle all the way across this and conserve energy with the batteries and then paddle all the way back, but hopefully the wind stays down today and it doesn't start blowing, and hopefully these Minkotos will hold up. If not, I'm gonna be standing up like a stand-up paddleboard and kayaking my way all the way back here. Fingers crossed. Safety first. Come on. In the back. Right here. No, come on. Back here. Right here. Come on back. Come on. Right there. There you go. Oh, heck yeah. Let's make sure we have the right remote. Oh, didn't put that on. Oh, there's a nice trout right there. Nice trout right there. Just scared him away. Right off of this little ledge here. Oh, that, oh there's another one right there. He's feeding. He's feeding. Let's see if I can get in one. These things are very spooky, I already am noticing. I might want something that's getting down a little bit faster, too. I don't know. Definitely some fishing around this island, though. Oh, 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 I have one chasing it. I got a chaser, guys. I got a chaser. Here's going to be the first one of the trip. Darn it. Had one following my fly. Didn't look like the biggest one in the lake, but it was the first one, no less. They're all, it seems like, kind of hunting in and around these little islands here, these weird pockets. And ooh, there's one right behind me. And if I didn't mention it before, this lake is very, very unique in the sense that it's not very old. This lake is formed by a volcanic eruption. A volcano exploded down this valley adjacent to this one. And this creek since, of course, has been dammed off naturally by all that sediment and has made this beautiful lake that backfills all the way up into these mountains here. So something that's only about 50 years old. And the story of this lake is they've only ever stocked it with trout one time ever. They, the, the fish somehow survived a giant volcanic eruption and they were originally steelhead smolts because this creek had steelhead in it at the time. The water filled this lake up and since they've only stocked it one time in history and already I'm seeing fish everywhere. We're just by the boat ramp. So it just goes to show you how mother nature replenished itself and it survived this radical event and now can be such a good fishery so it's kind of a cool situation it's unique to be out here on this lake for the first time i've always heard about it and i've always heard how amazing it can be and i'm excited to give it a try i think i'm going to need to change bugs though yeah see there's one rolling right there they don't like my bug at this point ladies and gents 
They are not liking my bug. Back on the hunt. Wind kind of picked back up. I couldn't see those fish visually anymore, so I figured, heck, let's keep on with our mission. I'm gonna just troll this thing down the bank here. I'm gonna say about 50 yards off the bank. I'm gonna make myself a little dropper line here. I'm just gonna use some of that leader here. This one is gonna go to my Dodger. This is just a Brad's Dodger here. Pretty simple little setup. There you have it. Got my Dodger, got my little KCP back behind it. Got my weight, should be good to go. Let's do it. Here it looks. We got our Dodger walking, we got our KCP spinning. And honestly, that's a pretty dang good speed. I like it. Speed can be everything when trolling these systems like this, and trolling these setups. You gotta be running under the right speed. If you're not, you're gonna have a really hard time getting the fish to bite. You'll notice they'll be jumping all around you. They'll be doing all kinds of crazy stuff, but you won't be getting bit, so. I'm gonna drop this thing back a pretty favorable distance. I'm going at a whopping 1.6 miles an hour, which is pretty perfect in my opinion. The cool part about these kayaks, everybody, is that you can steer with your feet. I don't have to be sitting here pressing back and forth. I can I like to do that maybe if I'm kind of hunting for the fish, but for here, it's gonna save me a lot of battery life and allow me to fish a lot longer in this kayak by uh, by using my feet and keeping that that rod excuse me, keeping that trolling motor just pointed straight forward and allowing me to just kind of make my way along the lake but with my feet rather than so much with, with my actual trolling motor going back and forth and picking that direction. So that looks pretty good. Now we wait for the yee <laughs> I want to catch a giant one, Sean. There's such big fish here, I guess. Real ones. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He's on there, he's on there, he's on there. That was a good hit, everyone. I talked that one into existence there. That's always fun when you can do that. First fish of the day on the KCP. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a pretty fish. <laughs> Look at how pretty that thing is. Oh, wow. First trout of the morning on the troll. As soon as we got that thing down, I bet we weren't fishing it less than five minutes. We have our first fish on the line. Beautiful, beautiful little rainbow trout. Look at how incredible that thing looks. Nice barbless hook, pop right out. Okay, little guy, we'll see you later. Thanks for being Mr. Number One. Sweet. It's a good sign, everybody. We just started fishing that. We got a long ways to go until we get to the other side of the lake. So luckily, hopefully, we'll maybe find a couple big ones on the other way, but I really want to get them on the fly. So let's get back moving. Let's get this back in there. This is living. How long do you think it would take us to walk to the top of the mountains, little? About three hours? Yeah, me too. That's a better one. That's a better one. Oh God, that's a better one. Oh geez. Oh my. Oh geez. Oh God. Oh, he's submarining me. That's the sign of a bigger fish. He's submarining. What do we got here? I can't see him yet. Oh, 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 he's, shh, 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 Knock that off, little. Okay, it's right about the exact same size as the last one, but still a beauty, still a beauty, no less. Gosh, the colors on these fish are just incredible. I cannot believe how cool these things are. That KCP is just doing work. Now this one has a really unique look to him. Such a cool dude. That one looks a lot more trouty, not so much of a steelhead. Thank you, little guy. We'll see you later. <laughs> Four. 
four now before we even get across the lake. I like it. I'm going to stick with our method that's working again because it's all about numbers here to find the big ones. A lot of times if you can weed through a lot of fish and you know they're biting, you'll finally get in front of these little dudes are more aggressive than those big ones because they get to stuff faster. They're smaller, they're faster. And so we're going to have to just wait until a big one can actually get to our stuff and hope that he holds on to it. So back to the troll. What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, brother? This is my first time ever coming here. Yeah, man. We've just been slowly getting them all the way across. I forgot my paddle, so I'm like hoping the wind will blow me back. <laughs> What's oh, sick, we're on. Buddy bite, buddy bite. Oh, yeah, he's there. Well, that just brings up something to, to mind. You know, meeting another fellow addict out here, somebody who likes watching addicted fishing and is learning from it. One thing that he said that always sticks with me with people is, you're the reason that I'm out here. And to a lot of people and everybody out there who thinks that's a bad thing, you can shove it. Because the truth is, that guy's out here enjoying the most beautiful place in the world, along with a couple of other people who are enjoying public lands and public places where they can go and have fun and see beautiful things like we're seeing today and catch fish. He's out here enjoying it with his dog, having a great life. And you know what, to all of you out there that think that that's a bad thing, I'm sorry, I can't help you. So there he is. Thank you, little dude. And awesome meeting you, whoever you were over there. Be sure to comment below. I love meeting new anglers out here and people that love to go fishing and enjoy mother nature. <laughs> well, everyone, sorry, Marlon. Sorry, everybody. Lost the GoPro and all the takedown shots for today. That was weird. I had it crimped to the side of the boat and it just, I was touched it and it, Sean touched it. That's what, let's get real here. We all saw that video proof. This little bastard touched it and then it went boop and shot right into the lake. I had no clue what was going on. Maybe next time we'll have a leash. Dang it, everyone. It's gone forever. What a bummer. Nothing like a crunchy pickle and a good view. And this guy's update on battery. We're still three quarters. Feeling good. Feeling really good. We're still at the same amount of battery that we had when we left the bank, so that's a good sign. Because we're gonna be going back again with the wind which will make it a lot easier on us. Yeah, got him, there he is, there he is. It's a better one. That is a better one, everyone. Instantly put it back in there. I was towing one around here for a little bit. Didn't realize I even had him on. And as soon as I put it back out, got another one. Ooh, this is a cool looking fish. You'll notice, wow, I think this is a different kind of fish. Look at how beautiful this cutthroat is, everybody. Totally different species of trout now that we made it to the other side. This is what I'm hoping to find. Some more stuff just like this. You can see those incredible colors on that fish. Super neat, completely different looking trout. You can just see those, that beautiful throat. Those incredible red spots. Species number two. This has been really good fishing so far. We're finally to the other end of the lake, so I'm gonna go right to where the fresh water's coming in. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna start hunting for these fish. Selfie moment, Sean. Don't get me doing a selfie moment. God, the, the area we have just entered into, everybody, is so amazing. This, the geology up this canyon blew, blows my mind. I, have, I had no clue that the rest of these peaks were off this way. This is all a brand new place to me. And you can see where this, this blast came through, like a 300 mile an hour wind that was a couple hundred degrees came through and absolutely leveled all the forest back here. And of course filled this area up because of the mud flow at the, at the base. 
but being able to come back here and, and see an area that is so untapped and just so wild and blown apart by mother nature is, is incredible. As well as be sitting here fly fishing in my jorts and a t-shirt in the spring. It's a good day. Oh, I just had one. He's still chasing it. He's still chasing it. Couldn't, oh, got him. Oh, he's right there. I'm going to get him again. He followed it. He followed it again. See if we can find it. This is my kind of fishing here, close combat. I love being able to see the trout take my gear. Okay. Oh, there he was on the fall, son of a gun. I'm in him now, everybody, I'm in him. I have found a little bit of a wad of fish here on the opposite end of the lake. I think after we're done fishing here and before we head back the other way, we're gonna do a little cooking. I brought some spring Chinook, a little bit of wild rice. You're gonna have to find out what the rest of it is here in a minute. It's gonna be so good. Wild rice for some wild guys. Come on. Oh, there he is, I got him. I got him, that's a good one too. Oh, he's coming right at me. This guy is sabotaging my life. I don't have time to go to my reel. It looks like another cutthroat. Looks like another cool cutty. Oh, wow, he's got like a black mouth on him. This is so neat. I'm gonna bring him on this side. No, oh, no, 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 just the rainbow. Must just be the color of the water in here. Yes! Mission a comp. Made it to the other end of the lake and caught a fish on a fly. Not the giants we're looking for, but you know what? We just got started. Just a beautiful little white tip fish. You can see how, how big that thing's belly is. And it looks to me like it probably has some eggs in it. it. Looks like it's been digging a little bit. It's got some scales missing off the side of it. Just clobbered it, he did. Just gave it the old slobber knocker. Later, buddy. Sweet. Another one got, another one on the fly. Look at the setting too, everybody. Just take a look this way. Look at where we're at. We are enjoying an incredible day on earth, that's for sure. Thank the creator for this one. Shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. Oh my God, lifted it up from ping to a fish on. <laughs> and it's the biggest one of the day. Caught that one with the old wee wee. Oh God. What a great fish this one is. Oh my goodness. That's something to be said, you gotta let it go deep. Wow, here we go. Wow, best one of the day. Incredible. Look at the leathery nature of this thing. Look at that, almost, you can see that kind of leather stripe down the side. Just a really tough skin and a really beautiful wild fish. That is so cool. What a neat day so far. Look at that beauty. Later, man. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Woo! What a cool day, little. Oh, yes, I love you, too. Now, fly fishing for trout, everybody, is seriously one of my very favorite things to do, especially this time of year when salmon season in this part of the country just closed yesterday. So there's no telling when we get to fish for another spring Chinook again. And one of my very last videos that I just made was us going out and I was fishing with my good friend Bruce and we caught a beautiful fish and did some crazy things with it. I'm gonna make you go watch it to actually find out. But go check that out. But my point is that being able to come out here and fly fish and stuff is a lot of fun. And it is one of my very favorite times of the year. And if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about fly fishing go back to a couple videos ago i was out fishing some lakes in eastern oregon and looking for some thunder eggs as well uh, and I, I found both and so it was really cool and you can learn a lot about fly fishing in that one i did some casting tutorials and some different stuff in that video so go back into these videos and look it's one of me holding a big rock so if you like this video today and you like fly fishing let's see some comments below some more ideas on what kind of fish you want to see me fly fish for hopefully we'll be going a little more exotic here on stay fishy and traveling quite a bit to all different parts of the world so only you guys can make it all happen. All right, we made it to the bank. I'm not gonna get out on the bank because this all is a natural area. We don't wanna be leaving any trace. We don't wanna be leaving any footsteps disturbing the soil. So I wanna stay in the boat to cook. I just let it blow into the bank here and it's time to eat a delicious meal out here on the lake. So let's do it. So I got my little crack stove in here, and then I got my ingredients. My ingredients are in here. I got some long grain rice, beautiful piece of spring Chinook salmon, some aged cheddar, a pot, and a salad. And what do you know, one more 
brewski. Let's do it. This is gonna be great. I could not wait. It was been a long day of fishing. I've been out here for heck from sun up till sundown, dang near. And I think it's time we make a delicious meal out here together. I'm gonna do this really simple. I'm gonna do a good old fashioned seared salmon. Got a little bit of seasoning I'm gonna put on this thing. Give it a good sear on both sides, get it nice and crispy. And then I'm gonna put it atop a salad with a little bit of something else on the side. Ooh, look what I found, cotton candy grapes. One of my very favorite snacks in the whole world. Hard to find, that's for dang sure. But I found them, and they're mine now. Mmm, you never have these things. Gotta give them a try. They taste like a kiwi almost. Really delicious. Mm. So I'm gonna eat my rice hot, so I'm gonna get that started first. Get a pot of water on there. And I got this really neat style of rice here that I've been eating a lot on my camping trips lately. It's Ben's Original Ready Rice, and it's just this break apart and cook kind of a meal. I'm gonna put this in boiling water. Normally you'd put it in the microwave or something, but I'm gonna get that water hot. I'm gonna push all that rice down to the bottom and I'm just gonna lay it in there. I brought my binoculars here because I knew there's a lot of animals back here and I think I see something up there. It looks like an elk. Where's he at? Oh no, it's a mountain goat. It's a, it's a white mountain goat with little prong horns on it. How cool. Wow. That really tops off the day. I love seeing those things. They're such majestic creatures. They just live and feed off the alpine country. One of the only animals that can survive up there and they are absolute rock climbers. There's some videos that I've seen where these things just scale along giant cliffs with thousand foot, thousand foot faces like we're looking at right there. Something that no human would ever be able to do. And it looks like he's all by himself. It looks like it must be a big male. He's kind of an off white color. Normally the females will have little babies with them and, and they'll be in quite of a herd. But that one is all by his lonesome. He looks like the big old king of the mountain up there. He is stout, to say the least. That is so cool. Oh, I think I spotted some more. I lost them. Right there. Oh, yep, there they are. There's four of them. That looks like a, that looks like the ewe. There's the ram and the ewe. That one's got a couple little babies with their little lammies. Kind of looks like there's something standing right there. Oh, elk. There's elk over there. Elk tiny. There's elk up there. Sure enough, one, two. Oh, I only see two. They look like bulls. They're horn oh, there's three. There's a big cow. She's looking right back at us. And it's not an insult. Those ones are called cows and bulls. She's very pretty. Oh, there's five, six, there's one laying down, seven, eight. I'm seeing them, they're all popping out at me now. Nine. We are surrounded by wildlife out here. We got cutthroat trout today on the list, rainbow trout. We got mountain goats, we got elk, we got cows, we got bulls, and we got salmon. What a beautiful thing. All righty, seems like the rice is done. I'm just gonna keep it in that hot water. Wow, take a look at this beautiful piece of salmon. I'm going to fry the skin first, uh, and then I'm going to flip this thing over. So all I'm going to do, I got a little bit of just garlic and herb seasoning. Doesn't have a whole lot of salt in it. I'm going to get that a nice little pat down really quick. I'm going to flip that over. Going very basic on the seasoning because this is one of the tastiest fish in the world. And you don't want to cover it up with flavor. You don't want to cover it up with seasoning. I'm gonna go a little bit of cracked pepper. There we go. Same with this side here. A little bit of cracked pepper. There we go. Gonna throw a healthy chunk of butter in there to get it started. Oops. Okay, everyone, it's time. It's time for the flip, everyone. I can tell just by the way it is. You can almost tell by the sound of it that your skin's gonna be ready to go. You want it nice and crispy, so. Oh God, that's perfect. Any longer, I would have burnt it. Let's flip her over one more time, see what's, oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna go just for a little bit of cheese. Right on top there. 
Let that get nice and hot. A little bit of cheese on my salad. Beautiful. And into the plate. There it is, everyone. Gosh darn thing of beauty. Definitely feel super fortunate to live in a place where we get to enjoy stuff like this. Well, look who decided to join me. Interesting. Okay. Cook to perfection. Let's get a little combo wombo going. Look at how beautiful that turned out. Spring Chinook salmon is such a special fish. You guys have to go back and watch that last video. It was really fun. I love fishing with people and meeting new people out on the water. Just like that gentleman we met over by the waterfall today. In the last video, I was with a good friend, Bruce, who's lived on a particular river for years and years. And I got a chance to fish with him. And it was just one of those experiences that you'll remember. It was the first time you've ever fished with somebody and great things happen. So go back and check out the video on how we got that fish. Now I'm gonna enjoy some of the masterpiece here and fill my belly for the long trip back. I hope that my kayaks charged enough. I'm down to half battery, so we got about four miles of water to go. Hopefully the wind will be blowing the right direction and hopefully we won't have to use our paddle that we salvaged, but who knows? At least we'll have some energy. Here you go, Tynster. Well, it's time to go. The wind's starting to pick up. It's getting colder. It's about 5.30. That took us almost three hours to get across to this point. Ah, oh, great. Got my life vest all wet. Ah, story of my life. And it's twisted. My brain is twisted. Okay. Off we go. Well, we'll do our check really quick before we take off. Yeesh. That's not looking good. Looks like I'm gonna have to help it a little bit, everyone. We're getting pretty low on juice here. So I'm just gonna kinda do my best without wearing myself out. I got a nice handle here. Try to give this thing a little bit of help. Kind of pulling to the left, so I'll just give it a little, give it a little ump. Hopefully we make it the rest of the way. We've got about halfway to go still. Keep my fingers crossed. Well, everyone, this is how our day ends. Jay stroking our way back to the boat ramp. I guess next time I'll check my batteries before I leave the house. Thought they were charged, but nevertheless, it's a good workout. It's been an amazing video today. I had so much fun going across this lake and seeing all these beautiful places with you guys. And I hope you did too. Be sure to comment below on what your favorite part of the video today was. I know mine was probably making it all the way across and then finally catching a fish on the fly rod. And then just enjoying that tranquility for dinner and, and just soaking up the power of the mountains. It was an awesome day. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching all these videos. So until next week, you guys all stay fishy and we'll see you out there.